The Olden World, written by Tsar Yoshi. Chapter 186 Tentatively Welcome For a moment of awkward silence, Maple and Dangerous Karma stared at each other, Starlight standing close at her side. How whistled. Belay grinned. Eventually, Dangerous Karma blinked. Any chance your name is Maple and the Philly Starlight? The lot of you fit the description of some ponies I was asked to keep an eye out for. Maple took a step back, expression faltering. You were? How elbowed her in the shoulder. Someone's popular, eh? Sound like you have actors from all over seeking you out. I was, Dangerous Karma replied, wiggling his mustache. So you're Van Van? It's... Maple folded her ears. Depends on who's looking for us. There are apparently some ponies out there we really wouldn't like to run into. She shot an uneasy glance at Howe, who winked in a return. Not better now. Raising an eyebrow, Dangerous Karma walked around until he was standing between them and the door they had entered by. These ponies wouldn't happen to be the type I'm interested in keeping out of Grand Acorn, would they? Defense Force, Valet shrugged. Internal issues. But these guys here are all on Team Me, and you're not gonna kick me out. Hmm, Dangerous Karma rumbled, scratching his neck. Well, I can't say I'm fond of ponies who are magnets for trouble. It ain't good for business. At the same time, they're all friends you want to keep as friends, so let's get on telling them you're here. Follow me, y'all. Wait, Maple interrupted, stretching a hoof out. Just hold on. Who's looking for us? You didn't say, and if there are ponies we don't want to run into, tough beans and dangerous karma replied. Like I said, there are some friends you want to keep that way. Sosensville, hope you're in good standings with them. Maple frowned, but stood aside as he reached for a low black box in the wall, swinging a panel open with a hoof. Hello, he began, reaching inside and speaking directly to the apparatus. Lemon, those two ladies Shinespark was asking after turned up. Think you can let her know? Okay, thank you kindly. Shinespark, huh? Blay blew a lock of mane hair out of her face, glancing at Maple and Starlight. Eh, don't worry about her. I've got enough dirt on her to make her scram if things get hairy, and enough to guess there's a pretty decent chance she's on your side. We have a side now, huh? Maple feebly grinned, without even trying. That's how Ironridge works, lass, Dangerous Karma interrupted with a growl. Something tells me you ain't from around these parts. Something like that, Valet cut in, changing the subject. You know what, Mr. Karma, we're obviously making you skittish, so how about we... Maple and Starlight, please report to the main conference room on the top floor. A loud, magically projected voice emanated from an unseen corner of the room, halting the conversation in its tracks. Dangerous Karma looked up. Huh, that was speedy. <laughs> As I was saying, Valet coughed, Mr. Karma, you've obviously got more important things to do than guide around us troublemakers. We can totally find our way wherever on our own. Dangerous Karma narrowed his eyes. Now that sounds like something a pony who was up to something would say. Valet stuck her tongue out. Yeah, when am I not up to something? Besides, weren't you just telling that Pegasus how you'd rather have me running around than anyone else? Now go take care of your business and get out of my headquarters. With that, Dangerous Karma turned, stumped around a corner, and was gone. Well, Valet said, grinning, what did I tell you? Me and him? Working relationship. Kaboom! You're not arrested. Maple sighed. So why did you spend so much time trying to scare me about hostile guards? If you knew we would make it through just fine, and a better question, how added ominously, is what the Sosans want. Really, you guys are a little too good at drawing attention here. We're not trying to be, Maple stepped back defensively. All we wanted was to not be important and just enjoy the city and... Her eyes hardened. It was you who got us in trouble in the first place, you know? How cringed. Hey, I said I'm sorry. I'm working to pay it off, all right? Should we be going to the conference room, Starlight cut in, pointing upwards? Or are we ignoring it and running away? Meh, I doubt running's a good idea. Valet closed her eyes, licking her lips. DK's obviously watching us. He didn't make it sound like he just wanted us to walk away. Do you really want us to bail here and then have even more ponies breathing down your necks? All right, Maple tapped a hoof. And we do need their help, eventually, for... Her eyes slit the starlight, Van Valet. You know, there isn't something I'm out of the loop on here, is there? How looked sideways at Maple. Valet grinned. Pancake, you have no idea. 
So we're going up, then, Mabel cut in, wanting to head off a potentially long conversation that could steer dangerously close to Riverfall. How shrugged? There's a staircase right there. Well, then, let's go. Blade took off, flapping for a door and up the subsequent stairs, looking back to check that she was being followed. The upper floors of Dangerous Karma's complex were, thankfully, much smaller and easier to navigate than the base. That, or they had wandered in circles in the maze-like dungeon of white walls and office desks. This time, frequent windows to the outside provided a definite sense of where one was in a building, helping it feel far less claustrophobic and endless. They also provided a view of the sky, and the fact that it had stopped raining. I almost hope this goes quickly now, Maple was saying, walking down a hallway entirely bordered to the right with windows. It looks like there's still enough light left to make it to Narlbo, and now that the weather is better... You're going to Narlbo? How blinked. Isn't that a little out of the way if you're going... Wait. He screwed up his eyes, brow furring. Where's your endgame here? The Howinator tracked you down like a boss, but really? I have no clue where we're actually going. We have an errand in Narlbo, and then we're going to Sosa, Maple said, calmly pressing on. Eventually, we want to leave Ironridge. They climbed another staircase. So, how hummed, what exactly can I do to help? Be entertaining, Valet belched. Seriously, you're along for the ride, you might as well be useful. Hesitating, she added, You are sticking around, aren't you? You look persistent. How nodded. Tenacity is my middle name. Honestly, Maple bowed her head. I don't know what we need that you can do. All we want is to get where we're going with as few ponies carrying as possible. And speaking of where we're going, Valet interrupted, check it out, looks like we're here. They stopped before a large double door facing further into the building, slightly more trimmed and decorated than the fort's usual aesthetic. Valet tapped him with a hoof, and they slowly swung open. End of chapter 186